welcome back to another video. If you're into self-improvement in a variety of topics, please uh, subscribe and smash the like button so we can game the YouTube algorithm, which likes to suppress content like this in favor of mainstream lies. Um, I got a cool email and it, it basically made me go down a bit of a rabbit hole uh, and you'll see why. So I'm going to read the email and I appreciate this man letting me do a video response and letting me use his first name. Hey, Rite of Passage man, my name is Andrew. I am 24 years old going on 25 in September. I saw your video on Reddit about how men nowadays were robbed of their own Rite of Passage due to society and external means and it got me thinking about my own life. I won't bore you with the details but here are the cliff notes. I was born and indoctrinated by a cult, Jehovah's Witnesses. I had many issues with other relationships that didn't go well due to my upbringing. I strained my relationship with my family due to the religion and my own personal goals that I loved to achieve, such as flexibility and strength, acquiring companies, retiring early by 30, and traveling the world. I moved out with my current I, I moved out with my current girlfriend without telling my family about my plans and we're doing well three months in after signing the lease. These, I feel, are some pretty drastic changes in my life in such a short time span, one to two years, and I'm currently irritated and frustrated. I've started, failed, and succeeded in multiple small businesses before 25. I've studied up on finance, M&A, and exit strategies enough to do it on my own. Might be ego talking there. And I believe that I am capable to achieve those goals previously mentioned above, but I'm lacking confidence in myself, and I don't know how to get out of this rut that I'm temporarily in. Do you have some strategies on how I can increase my confidence or something so I can finally stop sitting on my ass? I just wish to be a better man and don't want to be a liability or a failure later on in life filled with regret not doing things that I should have done. Your response and advice would be greatly appreciated, Andrew. Uh, dude, first of all, I don't. it's so funny how – this is no knock on you, Andrew. It's so funny how I get these requests saying I don't want to feel – like a piece of shit. I don't want to feel like I'm being weak and sitting on my ass. But you tell me all these awesome things you've done. So can I just take? Can I just say, sit back and pat yourself on the back, dude. I think you're not sitting on your ass from what I'm seeing. Unless I'm reading this wrong, you seem to be doing very well in life. Um, and let's start unpacking some of this stuff. So the rabbit hole that you sent me down, which is cool for my own learnings. Uh, I love it when I learn from you guys was the Jehovah's Witnesses cult, as you put it, and it does seem to be a cult. Um, this will be not news for you, Andrew, but probably for my other listeners. Um, I didn't know anything about Jehovah's Witnesses. I also didn't know anything about Mormons, to be honest, but uh, there are some, I guess you might want to call them offshoots of Christianity. Um, but they are not actually Christian and Jehovah's Witnesses is one of these and it's funny because Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses are two separate cults or religions and they both happen to start in the 19th century both of them happen to be started by dudes who interpreted the Bible or thought of things a lot differently and created their own religion or cult based off of it um, and I did look into the Jehovah's Witness thing that you mentioned. And yeah, I mean, these are the these are the guys that come to your house. They're wearing like a white button-up shirt and a black tie, and they knock on your door, and they, they try to convert you to becoming a Jehovah's Witness. Um, they will tell you that they are Christians, but they are not Christians. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot there, but they basically don't believe that Jesus was God uh, or that he was even... A deity of any kind and they don't believe in the Trinity so they're Unitarian um, there's a, quite a, a few other things they don't believe in hell uh, they don't believe that humans go to heaven uh, it's just a whole different thing they basically got started in the 19th century by a dude and eventually he kind of spun it off into almost like a business uh, event and what happened in the 50s is they have rewritten their Bible the actual Bible the New Testament and the Old Testament I believe to be something completely different called the New World Translation um, I see the Jehovah's Witnesses in the train station or at least I used to and before I knew anything I thought that they were Christians but they're not and apparently they they're not super they have kind of a Scientology 
upbringing with their families. Um, from what I'm reading and hearing, like you either follow this or you get out of our family, you're disowned kind of a thing. Um, and that's probably where a lot of your issues with the relationships that you had and why they didn't go well, and that's probably where they come from. Um, just so you know, I was not born into any kind of religion at all, but I had plenty of issues with relationships in my life, um, and I think it has, it has a lot to do with our parents. Um, and in my case, I think that I didn't, I felt I probably had some of that childhood emotional neglect, which is why I used to try to, I don't know, man, like fall in love super hard with women. Uh, it took me a long time to realize that women don't love men the same way that men love women. And once you kind of get past that, your relationships will be much better. Um, this part, you strained your relationship with your family due to the religion and your own personal goals. Uh, I assume, I don't want to assume, but maybe you, you told them, hey, I don't want to knock door to door and try to conv convince people of this. I'd rather just focus on my financial goals, my health and fitness goals, and uh, I'd like to go see the world. And they didn't like that based on your, uh, your bullet point here. It's because I mean I'm telling you like from what I see I, Jehovah's Witnesses kind of have like a mission they have to all be knocking on doors like I, for, forgive me if I'm wrong but I, I think that's what I'm seeing um, and then you say you moved out with your current girlfriend without telling your family about the plans and you're doing well um, that I do want to talk about a little bit I mean it doesn't sound like telling them will be of any benefit to you um, so maybe don't, I don't know. Uh, but just be very, very careful when moving in with a girl. Um, I don't know how long you've been with your girlfriend. Um, I, I'm not assuming that you've only been with her for three months, but if you have, be super careful because that is a really, really fast move in. And I, I, I know this from my own experience. That's why I'm telling you. I will cite a past relationship that I had often in this video, and that's what it was. We met, and I think literally two to three months after our first date, and a whole bunch of premarital sex, uh, her, her lease ended, and she needed a place to stay, and I had her move in with me and my roommate. Um, and that was a big mistake. It was a super toxic relationship, and I'm going to go over that in the next video. But um, I don't know if that's your situation at all. To be honest, if you have only been with her for three months, be super careful, man. Uh, and if you haven't, I would still say don't cohabitate unless you plan on marriage and having children with the woman. Uh, but that is a hardcore opinion of mine, and you certainly don't have to um, live by that. Um, and I don't think the fourth bullet point about you being in a relationship and moving out and not telling your family really has much to do with your your, your so-called lack of confidence. Now, I don't know if you've been watching my other videos, but the lack of confidence thing has come up a few times, and I always offer this really, really cliche advice. And if you haven't heard it, this may be new, but if you have, you know what I'm going to say. Um, you say that you love to achieve flexibility and strength. How is that going? Um, are you lifting weights, you definitely, definitely need to start lifting heavy weights. Um, and I mean squat, deadlift, bench press, all that stuff. Um, if you're doing well financially, which it sounds like you are, and gyms are closed right now for the most part, just, just order a barbell rack or a power rack and put it in the garage or somewhere where you can put the weight on the ground. Um, even if you lay, like, lay it gently on the ground, you can put it on carpet, it's fine. Um, just don't drop it. And yeah, like I, I always tell people this on these videos, but my own self-confidence came from lifting weights. Just, it's, just, it's just hard to explain, but going to the gym every morning, getting jacked on caffeine, knowing that I could lift my own, my own body weight 2X, knowing that I could squat one and a half times my own body weight, knowing that I could bench my own body weight, like this was really, really uplifting. It made me feel really good when I looked in the mirror, which is vanity, but like that's that's another thing I always kind of circle back to. When you look at yourself in the mirror, are you standing proud and tall 
And are you looking at a big barrel chest and some, some nice swoldy arms? Or are you looking at a frame that is creased in the spine, bent over, and your noodle arms are the same thickness all the way around, like the, the tip of your wrist where your hand connects to your arm is the actual thickness of your entire arm going to your shoulder. Uh, you've seen what I'm talking about, those real like thin noodle arms. You won't be able to look at those with any confidence. So I know it sounds vain, but lifting weights will absolutely skyrocket your self-confidence. It will take and it will take 90 days of a full program. The full 5x5 five five program, you can Google it, 5x5. Highly recommend it. Um, so that's what I would say about how to increase your confidence and stop sitting on your ass. I mean, look, there's not a lot to do right now. And I mean, if you're physically sitting on your ass, but you've lifted weights, well, you've earned a, you've earned the ability to sit down for that day, in my opinion. Um, are you continuing your finance studies? By the way, do you have a degree in finance? Because if you don't, and you have a um, uh, an interest in M and A, that's a whole career. It's you go to you go to a master's program and get an MBA in finance, and you can go into investment banking, and it's very hard work but you will make millions of dollars. The people that I know who are investment bankers tell me how much busy work it is, but they are seriously, seriously wealthy. Um, so there's that. I mean I, I mean, I really like where you're coming from, man. I don't think you have much to worry about. Um, and other than that, uh, I mean, it looks like you're a serial entrepreneur. You've started, failed, and succeeded in multiple small businesses before 25. I mean, I'd say you're on track. Like, I don't think you need to beat yourself up if you're not retired by 30. Um, traveling the world is awesome, but that will put a pause on any of your financial plans if you need if you need to work for the financial stuff. So, you're. I think you'll have plenty of t unless you are dead set on traveling the world now. Uh, I would put that off. And just wait. Um, but yeah, man, you were, you were indoctrinated into a cult and I'm going to tell you right now the advice that I gave in a previous video about stopping negative thoughts, but you have to forgive your parents and you have to literally go and tell them that and they're going to be pissed at you, but whatever that your family relationship is already strained as much as it is. Anyway, I would say, Hey, just want to let you know, by the way, before I say this, I can't quite tell, but I don't think your parents are funding your bank account. I'm pretty sure you're off on your own. You're launched. You're making your own money and paying your own rent. I'm assuming that. So you don't need your family for anything at this point, but I would call them up or go in person and say, hey, I've got to tell you guys something. I moved out with my current girlfriend without telling you, and we're doing great. Also, I love you guys, and I totally forgive you for my terrible upbringing. They're going to be so pissed at you. They're going to be like, what do you mean your terrible upbringing? We brought you up to be a Jehovah's Witness. We brought you up to spread the word of God, the Unitarian God. How dare you? Rah, rah, rah. And you'll be like, it's cool, guys. I know you're angry and upset, but I totally forgive you. And then just say, I'll see you guys later, and then walk out. And then you don't need to actually be in contact with them, but just forgive them directly and forgive them in your heart. It's that... It's that Jesse Lee Peterson thing that he always goes back to and people always call into his show and say, wow, I did what you said and my life is so much better now. So I think if you go and do that with your parents, it's going to fix relationship issues moving forward. It's going to eventually fix the relationship with your parents. Um, but I don't think you're sitting on your ass, man. So I hope that helps. Um, I will email you back to let you know that the video is posted. And yeah, like... Keep on doing what you're doing, but I think you're doing really good. Consider going into an MBA program for finance and you know, doing the investment banking or corporate development thing. Um, yeah, you're doing great, man. You're doing great, kid. All right, see ya. Hey, thank you so much for listening or watching the video today. I want to ask you, what kind of things do you want to hear about? You know what we really focus on in this channel? It's about men's education, right? Um, the manly arts, finance, religion, and uh, health and fitness. So if you got any questions around these topics or things that you think might be relatable or that I could bring uh, any fact or opinion on, 
by all means, drop a comment below and feel free to email me at rightofpassage85 at gmail.com. Uh, thanks so much. Take care.